we pay money to electrical company for providing us the electrical energy. And if you have ever looked at the receipt or back of the receipt, then you can actually see how much money you pay for every unit of energy that you consume, right? That's mentioned all over here. But the question over here is, what is the unit of energy that they are referring to? Is it joules or is it something else? So that's what we want to explore in this video. The unit of energy we use commercially, like the electric companies do, is called the kilowatt hour. So in this video, we'll explore what this kilowatt hour is, and we'll also talk about why we don't use the standard unit of energy, the joules, why we don't use that, why do we talk about this? So what's a kilowatt hour? To begin with, we can see there is energy over here, there is kilowatt over here, watt is the unit of power, and R is the unit of time. So let's quickly recall the connection between power, energy, and time. We have seen in previous videos that power consumed by any device, electric power consumed by any device, is usually written as the amount of energy that it consumes per time, right? And so from this, since we want to know what energy is, because we are looking at the unit of energy, from this, we can now write energy is power multiplied by time. Now, if we substitute for power in kilowatt, so let's say we have a device which has a power of one kilowatt, and if we switch it on for one R, you see, you put time as one R, then the energy that that device would have consumed, by definition, as you can see, is one kilowatt R. Does that make sense? So if, let's take an example. What I mean to say is imagine we have an air conditioner. Let's say we have an air conditioner as an example. And if the power rating of this air conditioner is one kilowatt, a thousand watt, and if this air conditioner is switched on for one hour, so if we switch this on for one hour, then the energy consumed by this air conditioner is one kilowatt hour. And so our electric companies just call it as one unit. So whenever they say unit, they mean kilowatt hour. Let's take another example. Suppose we have, let's say, a refrigerator. A refrigerator, um, which has a power rating of, this is the door handle, okay? <laughs> which has a power rating of, let's say, 500 watts. I think refrigerators usually have a lower power rating, but anyways, it's an example. And let's say we use it for 10 hours. So how much is the energy consumed in commercial units? Well, we do the same thing. We see, we say energy is power into time. We substitute for power, but not in watts. We have to substitute in kilowatts. Now 500 watt is half a kilowatt, right? Kilowatt is 1,000, so this is half of that. So we'll substitute half a kilowatt, or 0.5 kilowatt, let's write down 0.5, so here's 0.5 kilowatt. And time is 10 hours, so if you put 10 hours, what we end up with now is, let's see, 0.5 times 10 is five kilowatt hour, five, kilowatt R. So we'll just call it as five units. Five units. So commercially speaking, people will say, in this scenario, your refrigerator has consumed five units of energy. Over here, we would say, our air conditioner has consumed one unit of energy. All right, so why do we introduce this new unit of energy? Why can't we just work with joules? Well, simply because it turns out that a kilowatt hour is a very convenient unit of energy for electric companies to put a price on. Turns out that joule is a very, very tiny unit of energy. It's extremely inconvenient to put a price on every joule that they're going to supply or they're going to provide. For example, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're, you're uh, familiar with this concept. If you take the example of, um, um, of salary that people get. If you're working for a company, then the company pays you for the amount of time you put in. Now the standard unit of time is seconds, but you don't put a price on every second you work, right? 
you don't go and say that you know you pay me one rupee for every second I work that is so weird <laughs> nobody says that why because second is just a very tiny unit of time for us in in this context and so for for that we we look for a larger unit of time and and that's hours. Usually we choose hours. So we can say like, you know, for every hour I put in, you pay me 500 rupees or 1000 rupees. That's usually what people do. So the same idea over here for convenience. So now we might be wondering, well, how big is a kilowatt hour compared to joules? Well, for that, all we need to do is convert this into joules. And to do that, we have to just put the power and the time in standard units. The standard unit of power is what? The standard unit of time is seconds. So let's put one kilowatt hour in standard units and see what we get. All right, so let's do that somewhere down over here. So if we take one kilowatt hour, that's going to be one kilowatt is a thousand watts, right? That's a thousand watts times time is one hour. Let's put one hour in terms of seconds because second is a standard unit. That's going to be 3,600 seconds. So that's going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be 36 and one, two, three, four, five joules, okay? So that's roughly 3.6. Um, then there are five zeros here, there's one more. So we'll take 3.6 times 10 to the power six joules, or that's 3.6 million joules. And that's an extraordinary big number, right? Compared to joules. So you can see one kilowatt hour or one unit, commercial unit, is a significantly larger chunk of energy compared to a joule. And roughly for every kilowatt hour that we consume, every unit of energy we, we consume, our electric company charges us somewhere around three to six rupees. Of course, this, this varies um, with, from place to place and it also varies uh, based on how much, uh, how much uh, electricity you are consuming, but roughly it's around this number. I mean, we can go back and look at that receipt. If you look at this receipt, we can actually see the price listed over here. So the price is the amount of money that we are paying per unit. And that unit is none other, none other than the kilowatt hour. And you can see it's not a, it's not a constant, it keeps varying. You can see it's also become, it can also be more. It depends upon what you're using it for. So whether it's household or whether you're using it for industry or pur purpose, where you are, ruler, urban areas. So it depends upon also how much energy you consume and anything. And so we are paying less than 10 rupees for 3.6 million joules. So can you imagine how much we are paying for one joule? That's gonna be such a small number. It's going to be some 0 0.001 paise or something like that. And that's why joules is so inconvenient. And that's why we prefer kilowatt hour. So to summarize, a kilowatt hour is the commercial unit of energy. Usually we just call it as units. And to calculate energy in kilowatt hour or in units, we need to make sure that the power is in kilowatts and the time is always in hours. And one kilowatt hour is 3.6 million joules. And one small note is whenever I would hear this word kilowatt hour, I would immediately think it's the unit of power. But it's not the unit of power. Remember, kilowatt is the unit of power, but over here we are multiplying the kilowatt with time. And when you multiply it with time, it becomes unit of energy. So kilowatt hour is not the unit of power, all right? So please don't make the same classic mistake that I would do.